live commerce is actually from uh, two things. One is entertainment and the other one is commerce, of course. And then uh, the factors that you have here in this content is that it should be entertaining and event driven. So for example, you have a product launch or you have uh, this certain uh, new brand that you want to introduce. And uh, it also involves a KOL or a key opinion leader or a celebrity that represents your brand or who would want to endorse your brand. And of course, you need to have frictionless mobile payment solutions. So here in the Philippines, we have uh, several marketplaces as well with live uh, platforms. And that's something that you can use. But let's take a look with what's really live commerce in um, in different countries. So it started back in uh, 2003 for Taobao Live. So that's a company with um, Alibaba. So they launched this um, platform and eventually this platform became a really, really strong in 2016. So the live streaming there grew 180% in China. And actually the conversion rate according to the platform is 32%. And there has been a 1 billion product listings already and 35 million viewers. And uh, they actually created fashion shows as well. There's this other platform called T-Mall. This T-Mall achieved a total sales of 17.7 uh, .7 US billion US dollars billion dollars rather in 2017 and in the US what they're doing is they have the Amazon live shopping so it was launched last Feb 2019 and it's also on amazon.com so uh, this live commerce is actually a new trend that's happening for selling and it helps in amplifying your e-commerce campaigns